You know how Marcel Duchamp's really affected uh, my artwork? Uh, he's given me the ability to be able to remove a physical involvement uh, with my work. And by removing that physical involvement, it's let me really focus on what the initial interests have been and not to get kind of manipulated by the medium itself. That's how, why I've looked back, why I've continued to work with the idea of uh, the ready-made and things around me. But then I started to realize that by working with these things, by showing acceptance of these things, that it gave me the ability to let people know that the objects, the image that they feel they're surrounded by, that uh, first I could uh, let people know that uh, culturally their backgrounds are perfect and that eventually I could even continue the dialogue with the viewer to let them know that everything about themselves is perfect and that these images that we're looking at, these objects, are all metaphor for themselves. All of this comes completely through Duchamp and that the uh, ability to understand that yes, you can you can be in the metaphysics, you know, you can be in this place where uh, space and time, it's in a different realm that we experienced in, in the everyday. You can feel complete connectivity and that you can, you can love. You can, you know, I know that Duchamp loved artists like Manet and uh, El Greco and this love for the connectivity of human beings and to give it up to be generous. And, uh, you know, to be an artist, that's what you have to be. You have to be generous. And Duchamp's, you know, the, one of the most generous artists ever.